Richmond city officials are still working to bring one casino and resort to the capital city. The project was, of course, narrowly defeated in a referendum nearly three months ago. Our Leland Pinder has more from tonight's city council meeting that opens the door on the project again. Leland. That's right. Yeah, round two, Candace. Uh, all but one city council member voted tonight to reauthorize previously approved agreements between the city and Urban One for development of that casino and resort. The city will now ask state lawmakers to schedule another referendum and you could see this on your ballot again later this year. Councilwoman Reva Trammell says that really close vote last year along with the potential for a south side economic development boom warrants a second try. The plan now includes a two cent real estate tax rate reduction for city residents, spending additional revenue on schools and city projects. Now 3000 construction jobs and 1500 permanent jobs and millions for local nonprofits remain a part of the deal. And tonight Urban One CEO Alfred Liggins highlighted a four star hotel, a soundstage for film and TV production, fine dining and entertainment are also still a part of the package. However, some people were angry. Council is reconsidering this project. The purpose of this proposed referendum is not to have a fair vote on a casino. That process already happened. The purpose of this vote is to hope that a little bit of people who voted no won't show up next time. There is simply no other economic development deal that provides this kind of upside with virtually no cost or downside risk to the city. Well, several times tonight, those opposed said the city is trying to circumvent what voters chose last year, and they called this process undemocratic. Well, to that, Councilman Andreas Addison pointed out that it's not uncommon for local governments to pursue initiatives more than once.